welcome to this screencast where we are going to learn how to write a C program to create a linked list with n number of nodes and to display it. So in our main function we have taken this variable integer n right. We will first ask the user how many nodes he or she wants to create right and that data will be stored inside this n variable right. So we have the number of nodes to be created. Now, first let us look at the structure definition for our linked list. So, we are defining the structure type def struct node. Why do we use type def? Because we don't want to rename this structure as node. Because we don't want to use this struct node, struct node all the time. The structure has two members. One is an integer data which is will this part will be used to store the actual data in your node and another is pointer by the name of next. This is a pointer to the same structure because linked list is a self referential data structure. That means it contains one data member pointer which stores the address of same type. Next is supposed to store the address of next node and the next node will be of same type structure node star right that is why our structure has one uh, integer member and one pointer a pointer to type struct node star the same structure inside which it is defined right and the type def name is node right you can skip it here not a problem but we need to use it because we are going to need it for the next pointer declaration inside the structure so now onwards once we define this structure we are going to use this structure by the name of node as you can see, I have created a new pointer to the node by the name of head, right? Head is generally used to store the address of first node, right? Currently it is null because we are not yet created the linked list. Now, once we have how many nodes we need to create, we need to write a function to create a linked list. This function will return the starting address of the linked list. So that is why the return type will be node star. The name of the function will be create linked list right? and it will require the number of nodes that we want to create in that linked list. So name of the function is create linked list. It requires one parameter of type int that is the number of nodes to be created and it will return a uh, address of the first node that is why node star node pointer to node is the return type. Let us define this function we'll say node star create link list we need to uh, declare some pointers so i'm going to need three pointers temp head and p head will be used to store address of first node and it will be returned at the end of this function temp will be used to create individual node right a temporary node which will be appropriately placed in the link list at the appropriate position and p i need to iterate through the list uh, for my for adding the node at the correct position right now let us write a for loop very simple for loop say i equal to 0 i less than n i plus plus so it will iterate n number of times and why n number of times because we want to create a linked list with n nodes now uh, inside the loop let us create individual node that is this node will be unattached to the linked list it will be the isolated node so we'll say we'll create that using temp so we'll say temp we need to allocate memory so node star because malloc returns void pointer and we'll say size of one node right so node into one or you can just skip this right? once we allocate the space the node is created in the memory now we need to store the data right because our node has one data part so we'll ask the user to for the data so we'll say printf enter the data cool and we'll scan that thing percent d where do we scan ampersand of temp the newly created node whose we can get that using this temp pointer temp arrow data so in the address of temp arrow data now you might ask why are we using ampersand when temp is already a pointer this ampersand is not for temp it is for temp arrow data this is for the data part data part of that uh, node right that is where the data will be stored 
that is by ampersand and then i'll say temp arrow next equal to null so this process is for creating a individual isolated node right so this will not be attached to a linked list it will be just be created in isolation now now there are two possibilities the first possibility is that this loop is running for the first time in that case this is our first and last node so we check if head is still null that is the linked list is still empty right if head is null then linked list is empty then head becomes this newly created node that is the only node in the system in the linked list right so if head is null that is if links if list is empty then make temp as first node right how do you do that head equal to temp else now the second possibility that is the loop has already run few times so the list is not empty so imagine pictureize this situation as let's say loop has run three times and we have created nodes like 23 67 and 82 right now in the fourth iteration we created a new node here right let's say we created a isolated node with the value 95 right and this is pointing to null so this is our isolated node right and this will be null right at the end of the list now what we need to do here is that we need to add newly created isolated node at the end of this linked list here we need to attach it here this 95 right so for that i'm going to require another pointer to iterate so that is why i've declared p so what i'm going to do is p will start from the beginning so we'll say p equal to head right then we are going to iterate p till it reaches here if we can take p till here till 82 then we can attach this newly created node at the end of p so we'll say while p arrow next not equal to null right well p arrow next not equal to null p equal to p arrow next that is how we iterate p so p will come here the number of this loop will run till p comes here when p comes here its next part becomes null so this loop will break so p will stay here once that is done what we can do is that now we need to attach the newly created node at the end of p equal to temp right so now this 95 will go here will be like this right and that is that and the loop will end here in this process and at the end of it we'll say return head that is the starting address which you promised right so this is the function to create a linked list with n number of nodes right this works so how do we call this function we need to collect the head address right so we'll say node star head equal to null and we'll say head equal to we'll make a call create linked list and we'll pass n the linked list will be created we assume that but in order to ascertain that the link has been created we need to display it so we need to write a function to display the links right that function is very simple it will not return anything so return type void will say name of the function display list right and it will just require the starting address that is node star let's say head right so it will require the starting address of the link so that it can print the link so we'll write that function here right so say void display list node star head correct now the this is pretty simple function to write node star p equal to head right p starts at the beginning of the list and we'll say while p arrow next not equal to null we'll now just print it right so printf percent d and we'll just use this arrow note this arrow to you know graphically denote so in say p arrow data part we'll print it right 
and we'll just iterate the p p equal to p arrow next so that the loop breaks right this is a simple function to display the linked list let's say our linked list is like this this is our linked list now head is storing the address of first node it is passed to this display list function in the form of head right so p will start at head so p will be here right while p arrow next not equal to null p arrow next is not null right p arrow p is pointing to another node so it's not null so we'll print this 11 right in this statement and we'll say p equal to p arrow next so p will come here is p arrow next equal to null no p arrow next is pointing to another node so it's not null so we go inside we'll print 22 and we'll say p equal to p arrow next now p is here again p arrow next equal to null no it is storing the address of 44 so we'll again go inside print 33 and we'll say p equal to p arrow next so p goes here now again, p arrow next equal to null? No, p arrow next is storing the address of 55. So again, we say print p arrow data 44, p equal to p arrow next. So p comes here. p arrow next is now null. So there's a problem in our code. We'll not be able to uh, print this node, right? Because loop will break here. Because when p is here, its next part is null, right? So the loop will break here and we will not be able to print the last node so we need to change this and we'll say while p not equal to null instead of next part we'll just say p not equal to null now once p comes here p not equal to null so we'll go print 55 and p equal to p arrow next so p becomes null when p becomes null next time the loop breaks right so in order to be able to print the last node correctly we have modified our uh, while loop exit condition and say p not equal to null instead of p arrow next not equal to null right now this function shall work now once we create the linked list we'll just say display list and we'll pass this head now our code is ready to execute ready for execution so we'll just say run so how many nodes five enter the data for node number one so i'll say 45 enter the data for node number two 23 enter the data for node number three 78 Enter the data for node number 4, 12, and 5, 67. So our linked list is displayed as 45, 23, 78, 12, 67. Correct? So this is a simple program to create and display a linked list.